Right, it's okay. I don't know whether there's a sound, but there's no one coming right yet. But nevertheless, I'll continue. This is me, no one else. I felt the need to do a live video in the honour of people that have pre pre previously passed away, as in family members, friends, relations, and the story goes on. But it also continues as well that the point of fact is misled by a lot of people, as in I.E. Boris Johnson, is making false promises. We're all looking for a good, long, healthy life for our families. Yes, we are. I am one of many that experience this situation for what it is. It's not meant to be empowerment. It's not meant to be glorified. It's a frightening, scary world out there. And yes, we do have family and friends that we're fearing for. I do, you do, everyone does. But on the flip side of this, there's also <clears throat> people that do not believe. I didn't have this. But now as time continues, I am coming a very much believer in uh, misled people, misled information, misled trust. And it's not a good situation we're in right now. But who knows? Who doesn't know? The scientists don't even know a lot about what is getting injected into people to prevent, prevent, may I say, this virus supposedly spreading. Many of us have had people pass away, non related to COVID. But on the death certificate, it's written, died of COVID. I want you to think about that. Because it does mean a lot to a lot of people. I'm not putting myself above anyone to say I know more than what they do. But I do know people intimately that have been affected by this, as we all will. But are you still going to say, I don't believe it, to the person who's just lost family members, friends, relation right down the board? Are you still going to say to them, I don't believe it, when they've got the death certificate sitting in front of them, stating, died of COVID. When they didn't get admitted into hospital, they didn't go and see the doctor, they didn't go anywhere relating to COVID. But all of a sudden, they died of it. Now, as I've said, and I'll say it again, I'm not putting myself above anyone to say that I know more than you, because I don't. I am not a scientist. I am not a doctor. I'm not a nurse. I'm not an auxiliary nurse. I am nothing in the medical field. But I do know one thing. There's a lot coming out of this as time goes on. I've always been a person of a non-believer by a lot of other people. But you know, if you check back on what I've said and what's going on, you see that it does come back. This is what I'm frightened for, for people that don't get it, that, yeah, there is people in reality that is dying as we speak and died as we speak. 
Boris Johnson's got a lot of blood on his hands as well. Because don't forget, along with the shutdown, comes Ireland, welcome, um, welcomes the shutdown, the children in isolating situations that's getting beaten and mistreated. So it's not all about the person that's passed away. It's, it's about people that's living as well. It's in the papers all the time. Covid is. Children are. Shutdowns are. Boris Johnson is. Boris Johnson has got a lot of blood on his hands and is allowed to have that blood on his hands. Because you've got your rights. That person that is ill or passed away has got their rights too. But the thing is, Boris Johnson is given more rights to behave and treat people as he sees fit. I know a lot of people are going on about him of late, but it is what it is. We've got to accept it. We can't reject it. Put it that way. So as much as you believe in the inoculations and you believe it's stopping people from taking out, think about it. Follow the news. Google it. You'll find there's a lot of people that is unintentionally in the situation that we're all fighting to stay away from. The injection was told at the very beginning, the very beginning, it's a protector. Now we're being told, you've got about, you've got one, two, three and four. It's, I've always stipulated it'll get up to ten. It's not far from it. It's not far from it. I don't speak rubbish when I speak because I study what goes on around me. I really do study what is happening and why it's happening and why it's tolerated because that's what we're doing. We're tolerating it. Why is the protest in London against it? Why is people on a bed ill and being told? I mean, there's one video that I shared and the doctor's being questioned what he previously just said about the patients in the bed, but wouldn't admit it, wouldn't repeat it. Stepped away from it. You don't want to know. We all don't want to know. But we're having to know. This is the problem we've got. You can turn away. You can leave groups as many times as you want. But it's going to come back to you. In the news. In the papers. Even programmes on the television are being affected by it. People aren't working because of it. Buskers aren't busking because of it. So it's right through the... the uh, restaurants are closing. They can't sell the food. Because the food's getting out of date. It was bought to be freshly cooked. And it's not. So who's right and who's wrong here? On the few pointers that I've pointed out. If you can think of anything better than I... Go live and put it out there, what your opinion is. We're all allowed it. We're all allowed to have an opinion or not. It does not make a difference. But I'll tell you what now, we are amongst this without any choices. The same we've got choices, yet we've got choices. But in the, at the end of the day, the choices are taken away from us. They are literally pulling the carpet from under our feet and we cannot do nothing about it. So don't go telling me, oh, well, I, I don't believe in it. It's not happening. All of them's not been inoculated. They're suffering. They're going, how many people died when they had the injection? Tell me how many. Do you know? I don't because the numbers are changing every day. 
Some of the time it's supposedly got it. Other the time because <coughs> they, they've had the infection. They don't even know where it's come from. The, the scientists have not studied enough about the situation to say it justifies what they're saying and what they're doing. But if we go against the, the law, they find another way now of making money because the fining people, people are getting fined. And you don't believe me, check out the news. That's where I get my information. But it's wrong because it's coming round the other way. As I've said in the beginning, when the truth comes out, it'll come out in such an explosion. And it's circulating right now as we speak. So no one can say she's chatting rubbish because I so ain't. I am not chatting rubbish of any shape or form because when this comes and it's going to come in a major big way, we will not be able to walk out the door because we'll be on shutdown. How many shutdowns have there been so far? Four? How many have I named? Ten. Ten shutdowns. So I'm not that far wrong because it's slowly getting there. Slowly. Because our ever-loving Boris Johnson that even went into hospital, supposedly, I've never known anyone to go in the hospital and come out with, without suffering in such a major way. I mean, people go and the brought out, the carries out, he walked out. So, you know, there's little pointers there that I'm mentioning. I, Leanne, I'm men mentioning many pointers because they're all worth listening to. They're all worth concentrating on. But I am not saying don't get injected. I am not even touching that word, apart from right then. All as I'm saying is, people have choices, but you don't. Because when the shutdown comes, what do we do? We stay in. I've been in my house for months. Months. When he decides he's going to put this shutdown on, it'll be just before Christmas when everyone's like, oh, I'm so relaxed because he hasn't done it. Bang, he'll do it. Instantly, people will be locked in, no going out, ordering online, and I'm made, that's the only consolation it's given me, is ordering online, because I don't have to wait for someone to take me to the shops to go and get me shopping in, because it gets delivered. Hallelujah. Anyway, yeah, we're all learning something out of this. So go research on what I've said. The, the vaccine, that's the words I couldn't think of earlier on, but it's coming to me now. The vaccine isn't studied enough because it's come in, it's been injected so fast, and people are, and I'm not saying they're wrong, before anyone kicks off, all as I'm saying is, people are choosing to have it. Now, at one time, when we were younger, we all had illnesses. Every one of us had illnesses. How many injections are going round? Measles and all that business, right across the board of that. But not this. We weren't told publicly for everyone to get injected before the scientists have properly tested the virus for what it is. As I say, you can listen, don't listen. It's your choice. We're all given it. No one shuts the door on, on, on Facebook and forces a person to listen to anything. Neither I don't get believed by people at the best of times, so it's no shock to me. And just to know, just really, I'm not shocked how many people do not follow what I'm saying. 
But in time, don't forget what I've already stressed. It's going to come and it's going to be major. Boris Johnson should be taken off of seat and not um, disinfected or anything like that. Have the chair smashed up and made a new one because who knows, he might be the carrier of the virus. He, used, he has shook many hands in many countries. And he's not the only one. Before anyone sparks off saying to me, why to blame Boris Johnson for this, that and the other thing? Because he's the president. He's going round. He's meeting people, talking to them, following them, and shaking hands and all of this. At one point, people were like, wow. Everyone is, whose hands have been shook by him has turned out to have the virus. So again, again, a reminder that that wasn't me saying it. No, no, no. It was happening in people's faces. That's how come the Echo, the Daily Mail, the Daily Express, you mention it, all the newspapers were out there publicising it. How long was he going to be in hospital? Or standing outside the hospital to see what was going to happen next? So there's a lot, a lot pointing to what I'm saying. And I will stipulate time and time again, if necessary, that I am not above the law. I am not the person to say I am rising everything I'm saying. But all as I'm doing is mentioning people, mentioning to people the realities of what could be missing. As in I hear, you could be listening to the news but not listening to it because you get sick of hearing it. I am for one. I'll hold the answer. I do not listen to the news and I do not read it apart from lately. Because I've had people saying little things to me and I'm like, hmm, didn't know about that. I wasn't told. No, because I didn't read about it. That's why I wasn't told. The people turned out to be correct. I will not say anyone's not correct, just to put myself on a higher pedestal. Pedestals I don't agree with anyway. I'm just me, me, myself and I. I believe in children, I believe in adults. I do not believe in shutdowns and having children locked in with families that's beating them, feeding them with salt, as we've already heard about poor Arthur. And other children that will be following on if he does this shut down again. This is what the question and right now to be up front and out with it. The question is it right, is it wrong to close down again when they've also had social services being involved. There's no I mean you can go right across the board with that. Carers and what have you. A lot of people call them but they're not all bad. They're not really they're not they're there for the people. You do get some of them. But I'm not saying all of them that aren't doing what the job is. We've all heard of it. We've all seen it in one way or another. Whether it be in the paper, on the radio, on the TV. And even the programmes are being affected as well, as I previously said in this. <clears throat> the programmes are being affected. Everything that is touching is stopping. I'm not stopping it. Other people aren't stopping it that we know of. Apart from the media, as in i.e. the news, the papers, the hammering it, and people are getting so stressed out, and my heart goes out for them. But on the flip side of the coin there, I'm so glad I didn't have my children these days, because I'll tell you something now, I would not be having them injected by anything that's getting injected right now, because no one can prove to me that a scientist has listened, studied, tested for months. They haven't. They've, this, this come about unexpectedly, 
Unfortunately, yes. And a lot of people have said to me, I don't believe it. And when I tell them I have not been injected and my reasons why, because I'm a human being, I've got my own integrity to know what I'm doing. I'm not always going to be right, I've never said I will. But I'll put it this way to you. In the near future, what I've said on here will come to true life. I don't talk fiction. I don't do none of that jargon. I don't say, Lisa. I do not talk false words. Unless I can prove something, then I will. A lot of people doubt me before I even get a chance of doubting them. I'm used to it. It's second nature. A lot of people get shocked, upset and stressed out because no one's believing them. Me, I just look, I smile, flick my ear, wink my eye and walk away. Knowing that I am going to be their voice. I am the voice of the voiceless, if you like. Because I will say what other people won't. And put the little, little smile on, your nice clothes on. Be amongst the nice people, but stay silent because you're going to be a friend. They're going to be your friend, trust me. They will. They'll be all over you, all over you, like a bloody cactus. They will. And if you want to live that life, again, I won't stop you. It's not for me to turn around and say to you, you're wrong. You shouldn't be protecting your children. In fact, you're not protecting your children because you're not having them injected. You're not protecting your children because you're not having them protected. Because some people, as I've already said, and I will, I will repeat myself because everything I'm saying is factual, not fiction. The so what the news is allowed out now, you'll be able to see it on that. Listen to the radio, read your newspapers, get brainwashed. Get involved, get your head rubbed around so mad that you will not be able to turn. And I swear to God, that will happen. You'll get depressed, you'll get stressed out. But don't forget, life doesn't stop. You've still got to be a mother, father, sister, brother, auntie, uncle, niece, grandma, granddad, right across the board. You've got to be all that and still come back and, and go, are oh, oh, you... You'll be hot, take a tablet. You've got to dry through the other a drink of water. You've got to do all that and keep your head together. I've done it with my kids. My kids didn't get put on earth as adults. I had them like everybody else. Pregnancy. Treatments. Well, the difference with me was I have the two two one business. But I'm saying that if they were children today, I would not have them injected. Right, wrong or indifferent. Say it how you like, put it where you want, stab me in the back, but leave everybody else alone. That's all I say. You don't have to pick on people because they're oh, you're here, dear, you're here, dear. They're not in Texas. We are. We're thinking of our families. When Joe blogs down the road, I've been in Texas. Every family member. And they're still not feeling well. They're still not going into work. They need a wage, you know, believe it or not. They need a wage. And while they're not feeling well, <clears throat> which I've had the experience of that, one of my children got injected himself. I didn't save him. He done it himself. One injection he had. And it was the most frightening, sickening in way. <laughs> you know, I laugh at honest to God, I do. I just listen to people and I laugh to myself. And as I've said, I, I, I look at people. Walk away, wink and brush me on one side and think to myself, your mind's set 
is set now. Check it back in a couple of months where it is then. Did you go to the doctor to make you feel, feel well? Or did you go to the doctor to make you feel well? Because some people have been the doctors. And right now in a grade because they, really, they didn't even have the virus. And I've got a friend that's had two relations. Two. Not one. Not half of one. Two relations. Uninfected by COVID. The dreaded COVID. There's one for you. And I've known her for a lot of years, this person. I'm not naming them. I wouldn't do that without their permission. And they don't know I'm doing this anyway. So I don't need anyone's permission or quotes what I'm doing right now. Because I'm telling you now, them laugh last, laugh best. That's an old saying. It's all down to choices, I know. I spoke to someone earlier on and mentioned it. Everyone's got choices. We've got them, they've got them, Jack down the road's had them, Mary across the street has got it. We've all got choices. But some of us haven't had the choice given because they died before the choice was even thought of. As I've said, I've got a friend that's lost two family members, non-COVID related, not one COVID related, but they've got it on the death certificate. One went in with cancer of the liver. Now this person is going to be, if, when do you, if, did you see this video, is going to know who I'm talking about. No one else is, because I'm not naming them. I've got respect to people, by the way. Um, so yeah, cancer of the liver, they went in the hospital with. And they had the COVID. How can that be? Go on, tell me. They might have had it and they didn't know. They might have had it and they didn't know. So that makes you an exception to the fact of thinking I'm wrong. She hasn't been injected. Don't forget, I haven't been injected. And I've no intentions. I'm doing so. Not one bit of injection has been near me. Not one. I had enough of injections when I had my kids. I had more than most, I'll have you know. And that is one thing that's put me off injections, is that. At this moment, I'm on tablet once, once, one tablet a day, which, thank the Lord, that's all it is. And it's a blood thinner. Because I've nearly lost my life a couple of times as well, which a lot of people forget. So I know what it's like to be close to death, as the saying goes. But I'll tell you something now, it hasn't pushed me back. I don't want no sorries, I don't want no tears and whatever else you want to do with. Because me, I'm just me. And like I said earlier on, I have not been injected. People that's been injected have had their choice. Do you get me? They've had their choice. I am not sitting here going, I am higher than thee. I am, I am the powerful one. Listen to me. Understand. Sink it in your head. Shake it off what I'm saying. I am just so fuming today. I mean, I've been fuming for a long time. But don't forget this, this supposed virus. Untouchable, unseeable. It's a ghost everywhere. Put it that way. You can't see it. You can't touch it. Take your taste away. Hmm. Well. I must have had it more than once, that's all I can say. And I don't care what anyone says. I have my rights as much as you've got yours. Okay? So, therefore, if you want to be injected, go right ahead. They're all there. Have a test as well while you're at it. 
you know, so much control this government has. And I wish to God someone that smashes Cecil, I really do, and gets someone with a brain that knows what the hell they're on about. Because that man cannot talk Queen's English if he tries today. He, he can't. You look at him, he's all stretched out. But look at how many kids he's produced as well. Seven. Seven up to now. He's doing well. You know, at, at the end of the day, we're all, you know, we're all human. We're all human beings. I'm saying this with ten basic breath, by the way, because I, I, I end up getting attacked. How many arguments have had, not even on live, because I haven't done live for a long time. So that doesn't faze me at all. I'm talking about one-to-one, -one, a vocal. You know, a lot of people forget, use your phone, don't use text. The text is away right now, but they used to do any. I'm not. I like to have a full-blown conversation to a human being. That's me. And if anyone doesn't know me, God help you, because it's a, I do my head in. Never mind other people's. That, that doesn't bother me. I'm not interested. What I'm trying to do is put people's mindset to reality. Teach your kids to be strong and outspoken, but not in an unpolite way. I don't mean, you know, just go barging in like a bull in the china shop, smashing all the china all over the... I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about opinions. Very well put opinions. I mean, a lot of people see me doing videos. I'm doing this one because I've got it on the angel. My angel is in heaven. My angel is my mum, my son, my aunties, my uncle, favourite uncle. I have lost my family members right across the bloody board. So I'm not even shell-shocked at what people say, what people do, what people think. I just go, go on there, carry on. Educate me, show me, tell me, and influence me by what you can do that I haven't had said, done, or thought of before. So there you go. Speak out. Learn your child to speak out but not be aggressive and I'm all that. Because people will not listen to you. I mean, I don't even know what makes people listen to me, neither. But there you have it. It happens to you and God help the ears and the brains as well. Because I am so opinionated in a vast a lot of ways that I do not, <coughs> I do not, um, back away. I've had a couple of words with people through the months, said man, weeks or days or even hours, even seconds. Uh, it doesn't bother me. I can still talk to that person like I've never argued in my life. Because it's called not holding grudges. I don't hold grudges. I can have a full blown argument a few minutes later, I'll actually want to come across a biscuit. Or a dinner, whatever. Doesn't matter. So basically what I'm saying is I'm putting this out there to let people see there's no need to hide. You don't have to hide. You don't have to fear saying anything. But I fear myself half the time. Never mind anyone else. I I, I really do. I I, I get so, because my voice just says what it wants, I have no control over it whatsoever, apart from now and again, which that is more now than again. But, yeah, so, I shock myself half the time what I've come out with. But you know what? People haven't got a clue, because I do not perform to... Oh, God, I shouldn't have said that. I didn't... I, sorry, love, I didn't... I didn't mean to say it that way, it just come out. My voice is on the term controllers. I don't do none of that gear. If it comes out, it comes out. 
if it hurts, it's unintentional. But if you know me, and I mean know me, there's only one person of my friends that really knows this one here. Back, front and sideways, as I know her as well. But she'll tell you, I have no control over my vocal tones for what you see are at the best of times. Anyway, but yeah, YouTube, I don't know. I don't know what it might do. I don't know. I'm not a clue. I don't even know about it. It's good enough to be or what? You know, the way people say, have you ever heard people saying that? I don't, I, I'm not good enough. I have never been good enough. I don't have to be good enough. If you want to put something on YouTube, put it on. TikTok, my favourite second home. Facebook used to be, but, you know, I'm a bit pleased with that at the minute. TikTok, yeah, I'll have that all day. The rulings on both, both the um, server, and I guess, uh, this is going to get blocked, me, sir, and I'm not even interested if they do block me or what they want to do with me, whatever. I mean, the people are getting blocked every, every minute, of every day, every second of every day. Never mind anything else. Nothing new. But, yeah. So, um, there's a lot of media circulations going round. Check them out and see which one you like best. Because as time's going on and confidence grows, people are growing away. And they, they rely on you for the money they get out of it. In the end, you rely on them because the money you're getting out of it. And you can't let it go because you're going to miss out on the money you're going to get in the first place. But not knowing there's other sources of making a living. There is. There's more than one way of making a living. You don't need the media to help you publicise what you're doing. Because you've all got cameras. You've all got video functions in your cameras. So what are you relying on the media for? What do they do for you that you cannot do for yourself? Independence and contracts. There's a big jar away from that. There is a big jaw between the two. A big jaw. Independence is the right way to go because if you're earning a living, I mean, for want of a better way, these high celebrities um, are all in on that to get the money out of it. They're able to cater for the children's children, and um, you get accountants. I, I love that word, accountant. And the other one is secretary, and the other word is promotion. A lot of people won't know, have a clue what I'm on about. I didn't myself at one time, but you know, even at my age, I'm learning. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, promotion, con contract, never sign a contract. I swear to God, never sign a contract. Because once you, you're bound to a contract, you're bound to that person. You really are. You're bound to that person in any shape or direction that you need to go. So, right, I've rabbit us on for England, as usual. I wasn't going to, I was, I didn't say I was going to do a short video, but that was my intention. But it's been a long drawn out, and there's a lot of suggestions and ideas of what I'm leaving behind. It's only to help people do a bit more thinking instead of dominating people to believe. Believe me, don't believe he, he, them, those, and all that. So, I'll talk to you later, and thanks for joining in. Well, keep safe.